Hello and welcome back to the channel. This particular video is going to be about airband. Airband is one of the most common subjects I get asked about when I start talking about Bofeng radios. Now, here's the little bit of theory to begin with, because as usual with my videos, we do a little bit of theory and then we're going to have a look at some radios and listen to airband frequencies. But basically, what is it? Well, airband is air traffic communication and that tends to be between the aircraft in the sky and the controllers which are based on the ground. One thing you will learn quite quickly about airband, let's get another pen. One thing you learn quite quickly about airband is that you only tend to hear one side of the conversation. Now, this isn't because it's encoded or there is a, uh, a tone in there that you can't hear or anything like that. It's all to do with the fact that you've got an aeroplane up in the sky and you've got a controller down on the ground and the aircraft is transmitting from a height. So, you listening down here are very much likely to be able to receive this signal here whereas this from the controller you may have topography hills buildings all sorts of things in the way if you get close enough to the airport or the ground station where it's actually been transmitted from the chances are you're going to hear the controller as well as the aircraft right so let's have a look at the airband itself airband is between 108 and 137 megahertz okay this is fairly universal because obviously aircraft travel all over the world and they all abide by the same rules the first uh 10 megahertz so 108 to 118 that tends to be things like navigation and instrument landing systems and beacons and things like that so it's not actually a voice between 108 and 118 megahertz it tends to be signals that are sent out to the aircraft to assist them with their navigation landing and various other things and then from 118 up to 137 is where we find the voice here's the thing 118 to 137 megahertz that's fine what we a lot of people struggle with is that this isn't am or amplitude mold amplitude modulation frequency and I'll explain the difference between AM and FM in a little while that's a basic vanilla UV5R Bofeng UV5R this is an FM radio out of the box this will not receive AM signals now if we look at something like the UV5RH this is an FM radio but it also has a module inside it which allows it to listen to airband AM transmissions. See other videos that I've done. The version 1, which is the multiband, should be able to receive airband. The version 2 triband doesn't receive airband. These both do, but I'm not going to get into that. Go look at the previous video. So, what's the difference between AM, FM, and why do they use it? Right, if we draw a signal as seen on a scope that looks like this, the distance between here and here gives us our frequency. So the distance there, as the frequency goes up, these distances get shorter. Again, see other videos. The height of the signal is the amplitude so we've got frequency and amplitude when you are transmitting in FM the amplitude stays the same but the frequency alters so your voice creates differences in the frequency peaks and troughs as you are transmitting amplitude or AM the distance between the peaks stays the same but what you'll find is it will look something like this so the distance between all of these peaks stays the same the frequency doesn't change but the amplitude does 
right and there's a reason that aircraft use am rather than fm oh there's several reasons but the main one is something called capture effect with my fm radio here and my fm radio here and i'm listening on an fm radio here if we both talk at the same time and this guy's listening on fm the strongest signal will overpower the weakest signal and that's all that will be heard so if this is a weaker signal and this is a stronger signal, this one will only hear this transmission. That's how FM works. With capture effect, on an AM transmission or amplitude mod modulation transmission, both of these people can talk at the same time and the person listening will hear both transmissions now one may be a lot louder and stronger but he'll definitely be able to tell that somebody else is talking at the same time and that's really important with aircraft because if somebody has an emergency or they step on each other's transmissions when they're talking between air traffic control and the plane itself and two people talk at once they know straight away that that's been stepped on so somebody else transmitted at the same time you might not be able to understand what was said but you'll certainly know it happened so they can go and say previous transmission stand by back to whichever call sign and it stops signals not being heard so as i said this is my uh Bofeng uv5rh version one the version one is the multiband and that's got the am receive functionality so we can listen to airband so if we switch it on right now it's tuned to 145 500 up on the top vfo there and the way that we get into airband frequencies is simply to type them in. I know that my local air traffic control is on 118575, so I just type that in, 118575. And you should be able to see up at the top there, it now says AM. That's all you have to do. Now you can scan for the airband frequencies, maybe start down at 118000 and hit the scan button. On this one, it would be holding down the hash key. Oh, there we go. And you can see that it's actually scanning through those frequencies. Now, as it is a Bofeng radio, it did take a while to get to, get through the actual, all of the frequencies. It's important to set your step size to about 25 kilohertz, because that tends to be the spacing that the air traffic airband system uses. So 25 kilohertz step size, and you can just scan away. You can also check Radio Reference and a few other websites, and that'll tell you locally what frequencies are being used on airband. So yeah, AM. This standard UV5R will not receive AM. However, and I'm not gonna get into it, I think Manchester Ringway, uh, Lewis at Manchester Ringway YouTube channel, he did a really good one. Uh, you can listen to some, some, airband frequencies with a UV5R, the standard UV5R, but that's because what the control towers tend to do, if you're close enough to an airport, they send out a copy of all the transmissions on an FM frequency so that their ground staff at the airport can hear it as well because the ground staff will use FM radios, They're not, they don't have AM radios. And the other thing to say as well is, because people ask me all the time, Airband, AM, once you're in that sort of zone on the radio, you cannot transmit. There's no functionality to transmit because obviously you don't want people walking around being able to talk to aircraft when they're doing safety critical roles. You don't want people trying to interfere with the signals and things like that. So there is no functionality to transmit on airband. And if, if anyone's asking, you have to ask yourself, why are they asking if they can do that? Anyway, that's it. Let's have a listen to some uh, transmissions. You will notice some transmissions are very, very clear and you can hear what's being said. And some are quite distorted in the background. And the reason again for that is, at the end of the day, it is a UHF signal on AM and the distance, you know, the signal degrades over distance. Also, cheap radios like the Bofengs, they don't have any AGC or automatic gain control so quieter signals and louder signals as you're changing around the frequencies and listening it doesn't sort that out for you so you quite often find yourself playing with the volume knob as you're listening to them but anyway as always if you've liked this video if you've enjoyed watching it click the like button click subscribe otherwise you'll miss out on future videos and i hope you've enjoyed this one thanks for watching Transition level.